All right, guys, today I'm going to do something a little different. I've actually got an unboxing video, but it's going to be a set of Vortex Diamondback. This is the new design, 10 by 50 binoculars. I actually made a purchase directly from the manufacturer here recently. It was for not only the binoculars, but uh, also basically you buy the binoculars, you got their harness for free. I've never used anything like this. Probably wouldn't have bought it on my own, but it was part of the deal and I figured I might as well go ahead and buy one then. So let's go ahead and take a look at the binoculars. Oh, and they threw in Vortex hat. Nice black design with kind of a gray Vortex name, Vortex logo in the back. Kind of hard to see, probably in the video. But let's take a look at their diamond back. So MSRP for this is about 309 um, online or at the big box stores for the 10 by 50 you're gonna find it for probably around 250 but if you watch um, I've seen them drop down as low as 2 to 10 around Christmas time last year so you can definitely find them for a little cheaper if you're looking so let's go ahead and open it up just quick instruction manual on how to use some of the different features, how to put the strap on, that kind of thing. Does come in a pretty nice case. It's not really hard, but it is stiff. So it helps it keep its shape. Looks like you could put some straps on it right here. Let's go ahead and zip it open. Uh, so it looks like Case's design doesn't quite open all the way, but plenty of room to get the binoculars in and out. We've got a lens cleaning cloth, vortex strap. Let's see, it feels kind of like a neoprene strap. Yeah, it is. It's it's a neoprene build with kind of a non-stick rubberized other side. That's actually pretty nice. Um, I usually get the neoprene neck straps for my cameras because if you're going to carry them for a long way, that ends up being a lot more comfortable. Uh, looks like other part of the strap. And then the binoculars themselves. So these are the 10 by 50. Um, I may go a little later about how I chose this model versus say the 10 by 42 or an 8 power. Um, so these are a little bigger, a little heavier than the 10 by 42s, but with the big objective, you should end up getting a little bit better low light performance. So I do like they come with the caps on the objectives here and then also the ocular side is a cap. Uh, so looking at them previously in the stores, there's kind of a, a slot here in this and it's designed to fit into the strap and it'll basically slide up and down the strap. And then the objective lenses here, these actually screw in and out. So if you're wearing eyeglasses or sunglasses, you can leave them screwed in and that should give you the proper eye relief if you're just using without any form of glasses then screw them out and it'll give you the proper eye relief um, I also like them out like this and the depth because it kind of makes a darker area for your eyes which generally makes the image that you're getting look a little brighter a little easier to see. These are the what they call the new Diamondback. I think they actually came out early 2016, but they kind of updated the the exterior fear feel. Uh, this has not really kind of maybe a, a tough rubberized finish, but it's not very sticky like some of the rubberized finishes are. A little bit of texture on the sides, but they actually kind of downplayed that quite a bit compared to uh, the previous version 
overall I actually I like the new version look versus the old version I think the optics inside are supposed to be pretty much exactly the same but it does give it has a little bit smoother view that I, or a little bit smoother appearance that I like uh, a little more like their HD versions so you also have your you've got your focus adjustment in the center but then you also have an adjustment for the right side so if you're having an issue where one of the eyes is sharp but you can't get the other uh, side sharp what you would do is go ahead and focus using the left eye by closing your right eye or blocking off your right eye and get it focused using the left side and then you go ahead and switch to the right and you would adjust this collar in the back here to get that in focus as well. One of the things I do like is it has a little witness mark and little dots both on the body of the binocular and on the ring so that if you make an adjustment you can pay attention to what that adjustment is. Then if something gets messed up in your pack or you know you loan it to somebody and they make an adjustment it's easier to get it back set up the way you want it and not the way they had it so those are the the diamond back new diamond back 10 by 50 binoculars so I did want to do more of a review but unfortunately due to work it's gonna be at least a couple weeks before I have the time to get out and do some hiking and actually spend some time looking through these in field conditions so I decided I'm gonna go ahead and break it up let you guys see the unboxing for now and then when I get a chance to actually look through them some more uh, go ahead and maybe do a review video I will say I spent a lot of time at uh, several of the big box stores locally I went to Sportsman's Warehouse, Cabela's, Bass Pro and I looked through a lot of binoculars and the Diamondbacks are certainly not the most expensive they're not the cheapest either um, with the price point they're at I kind of felt like it seemed like these looked quite a bit better than some of the cheaper binoculars yet when I started looking at the HD line and some of the the five hundred to a thousand dollar binoculars they looked better I mean they had better glass uh, they were sharper some of them were brighter but the the increase was a lot smaller it was more just a little bit of an increase as the pricing um, as the price went up to my eyes so I felt like the Diamondback line offered a pretty good compromise a lower price point yet still high quality glass so you're you're still getting a good set of binoculars but you're not really breaking the bank at least that was kind of my impression um, since we've got it here, we'll go ahead and take a look real quick. This is their, they call it the glass pack binocular harness. That's designed to fit on your chest and hold the binoculars. Uh, they do have a couple models. Um, again, this was free as part of a package deal, so I went ahead and, and took it. It has little little mesh pocket on either side it has a small zipper pocket on the back not a lot of room but you could put a hunting license or you know uh, if you're out bird watching with the binoculars you could put a you know maybe a bird ID guide or something small there uh, they do make a bigger one and some of the reviews I read said that if you want to try to put a rangefinder or if you want to put more items in it you need to go to the bigger size so that's just something to think of if you're actually buying one of these. Open it up. Okay, so there's your strap system. And then basically once you open it up, it's just an open empty container. And then the binoculars go in. Um, I think unfortunately these are a little bit on the bigger side of what this is designed for, but they do yeah, these do still fit in there. A little more stretch on the bungee than what some of the smaller sets may have. So, I'll play with it a little more and I'll I'll share a little more once I do the review. I definitely want to be using the binoculars more when I'm hiking or hunting. Um, 
and that's one of the reasons I did go ahead and, and buy this when I saw the deal. Uh, I just want to see if it helps me have the binoculars a little more handy and actually use them a little more. So we'll get that put on a little bit later. There is a, a connection here to allow the binoculars to be on a strap so that when you pull them out you can look through them, you can basically let them hang if you need to or then put them back in the case. So we'll see how that works out. So let me know what you think if you've tried out these Diamondbacks, either the new version or the old. Like I said, I've, um, I'm excited to try these out. They seem like a good value as far as the price versus the quality. All right, guys, so stay tuned. Uh, it may take me a couple weeks to get up and start trying these out, and I want to use them for a little while before I do the review video, but um, I will have one of those coming. I'll also talk to you a little bit more about the decision process on picking the Diamondback versus some of the others, uh, what I'm used to using right now. So if you like this, please give me a like. Stay tuned for more, and thanks for watching.